coming and making time for this. Um, I know there's a lot of competing events today. So my name is Jennifer Schubert. Uh, I'm an assistant professor in religion here at PSU and also a founding member of CORE, which is Calling Oregon for the U.S. Education. And I found an organization with Marsha Klotz, who is a professor here at PSU as well. And if you have questions about the organization, you can ask me, but Marsha, if you could just raise your hand, she's right there. Uh, and I'm, we're delighted that today's event is co-sponsored by CORE, PSU AUP, which is one of the faculty unions here, as well as the ASPSU, which is uh, the Student Government Associated Students at PSU. If you'd like information about events that any of these groups uh, are putting on, uh, please feel free, there'll be information on the table over there, as well as a sign-up sheet. Uh, CORE uh, often advertises for these groups as well, because it represents both faculty interests as well as student interests. Um, and just as a, a, a plug for AEP for next week, Chris Newfield will be giving a talk in this room at the exact same time, from 3 to 5, and the uh, title of the talk is uh, Rebuilding the Public University from Self-Defense to a New Public Mission. And uh, I don't know if people are familiar, but Chris Newfield is a professor at UC Santa Barbara, and he is one of, in my opinion, one of the most intelligent commentators on public higher ed. And what's great about him is he's not only uh, diagnosing the problems, which there are many, of course, he's also proposing solutions. Um, so it won't be as depressing as it might sound. <laughs> okay, uh, before we begin with our panelists, I'd like to give you a bit of background on the Oregon Education Investment Board, which was created this past summer by a legislative vote. It was formed in order to, quote, to oversee an effort to create a seamless, unified system for investing in and delivering public education from early childhood through high school and college. The governor and 12 board members will oversee the state's $3.8 billion annual expenditures in public education. The board members were nominated by the governor in August, but did not receive legislative approval in September, and will come up for another vote in the November session in which the assumption is they will be approved. Although the approval process is still underway, we know that this board's actions will affect all of us in higher education. We've organized this forum in order to begin a conversation about how we, as Oregonians, as students, faculty, community members, want to define quality in higher education. So I'd now like to introduce very briefly, and we these people all have very long bios. Um, so we give very short bios on each of them, and then I'll explain um, each of them will given a question, uh, and I'll read that to you before uh, they came, and they'll each have about 10 minutes to speak about that, and then we'll open it up to questions um, on the floor. So first to my left, we have Ben Cannon, who is the uh, Governor Kitzhaber's Education Policy Advisor, and until recently was an Oregon State Representative, uh, and also an elementary school teacher. Melody Rose is PSU's Vice Provost for Academic Programs and Instruction. Prior to this appointment, she was a faculty member in the Political Science Department and is also the Founder and Director of the Center for Women, Politics, and Policy here at PSU. Emily McLean is the Executive Director of Oregon Student Association. While a student at U of O, she was the President of the Associated Students of the University of Oregon. Tiffany Dollar is a PSU student, the ASPSU Legislative Affairs Director, and Chair of the Oregon Students Association Board. Michael Denbrough, who hopefully will be coming soon, is an Oregon State House Representative from District 45, and he's also the co-chair of the House Committee on Higher Education. Samuel Henry is a nominee to the Oregon Education Investment Board and a professor here at PSU in the Graduate School of Education. And James Francesconi is a member of the State Board of Higher Ed, also the founder of Oregon Idea, and is a practicing attorney with the Portland Law Firm. And Jim had already um, informed me that he's going to be a, a bit late, so uh, we expect him soon. As I said, each of the participants was given the following question prior to today's forum, and we'll be given 10 minutes to address it. The title of this forum is for Quality in Higher Education, How the New Oregon Education Investment Board Will Affect Our Colleges and Universities. Part of the governor's plan calls for 40% of Oregonians to receive college degrees by 2025. That's a number. In public discourse about education, we often focus on budgets and metrics on these numbers. What I'd like each of you to address is how you define quality in higher education. I don't mean how you would measure it, but rather what you think are the most important things we need to focus on if we are to offer a quality in higher education to all Oregonians, most of whom will be non-traditional students. Ben, we'll begin with you. 